So in this video, we're going to talk about deriving the formula for the area of triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. So let's start with a rectangle. So a rectangle has a length and a width. And we use these parts to solve for its area. So the area for rectangle is length times width. Now if we uh, take this part and transfer it here, it becomes a parallelogram. So what's the difference between this rectangle and a parallelogram? Although they have, they both have pairs of uh, parallel opposite sides, but the parallelogram doesn't have the 90 degree angle inside the figure. And so they are just the same, but we they they differ in the label. So the width is now called height in parallelogram. And the length is now called the base. But the measure is just the same. It's just that this part is moved. But the same measure for length, which is changed into base. As well as the formula, it's just the same. We change the length into base and the width into height. So this is the formula for solving area of parallelograms. It's base times height. So this is the parallelogram and if we are going to take half of it like this then we form a triangle. So the triangle has the same label as the parallelogram, the base, the height, as well as the measure. It's just that it's the half of the parallelogram. And so the formula will also be half. So base times height divided by 2. And this is the formula for solving area of triangles. Now we go back to the parallelogram. And what if we take the half again, but in this form? So it is still half, although not triangle. We call it trapezoid. So the same label with the base and the height but there is exemption with the base because it is divided into two parts. So it will be base 1 or B1 and base 2 or we call it B2 which is the same as the one on top because it is half so it is removing the exactly the same uh, figure. And so the base is base 1 plus base 2. So as well as the formula, we're going to change the B or the base into B1 plus B2. But then again, since trapezoid is just half of this parallelogram, then we divide the formula into 2. And so this is the formula for solving area of trapezoids. Thanks for watching and I hope you observed from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.